Hello, today I'll be teaching you how to do the skill overlay inputs for MapleStory, so where it shows in the bottom right of your screen for OBS when you're recording. Uh, I'm using the regular version of OBS, you can't use the Streamlabs version or Streams Elements, something like that. Uh, the plugin that I use to get the overlay is this one, the input overlay is by Universal P. So you would go to the download and then install it. After you install it, it should appear here. Uh, so it show up here. You want the input overlay, not input history. So I'll be making one for Hayato yet today. Just showcase, because I have made some previously for my other characters, but that was during bot or during farming, so it I didn't include everything, only the main things that I used. So you also need to download this demo hook, which is um, once you extract it, it's just going to look like this. This is to get the input keys, the actual code for it. I'll also include the overlay for it, as well as the template that I used for my Thunderbreaker one. And you can just edit it based on how many keys you need for your class and character, depending on what you want to show. So you also need Paint.net. It's a very good program for write editing, as well as GIMP. You can use that as well. Or I'm pretty sure you can use this with Photoshop as well, but I'm not too knowledgeable in that. So that one will be uh, up to you. This one's free as well. So you just get this one at yeah, yeah, and then just download it there. So and I'm getting skills, skill icons for Hayato here. Uh, rip it in. All right, so the main skills I probably use on this character would just be um, I use Phantom Blade and Soku. I feel like that's basically all I use. Uh, Instant Slice and Falcon's Honor. So like four keys, maybe like maybe six. Okay, so. For this, you just do just control F it, find the skill that you want, and then open up the images, the overlay that I gave. And then for this, it's pretty simple. So you just um, you want to make sure you're on a new layer first, and then so this first row will be the empty one unless you want it to be grayed out where it shows when even if you're not pressing it so after you make a new layer you just paste it in Control v and then make sure you switch the quality to nearest neighbor and then you can just drag it out and it keeps the same ratio for it and it looks clean so each image will be 128 by 128 and you just want to paste it into each one of these and then you just do the rest. Oh, and you also want to, while you're dragging it out, to keep the same ratio, not to mention, you want to, when you're dragging out, you hold shift and it keeps the same aspect ratio of the first image and It'll expand accordingly.
I forgot to include the other assets I made for this, which are the arrow keys and the jump key. So you would just drag it into this and then add layers. So you have all of these now, so you can just drag them into the right place where you want it. And I also edited the potion, so it actually has a key image now. After you align it to the right spot, you just want to hit merge layer down, so it can all be on the same layer. So once you have everything set, just merge it all down. Don't merge it down to the background or to the overlay. And if you do want to have it um, with like the overlay when it's always showing, you just duplicate this layer, then click this key or M and then press on it and then just use your arrow key up and then just Put it in the right position it into the right uh, slot but you have that and this upper layer you want to go to adjustments and then black and white and then after that you want to hit properties on this and then just lower it down to like probably 150 works and then that's the overlay uh, when you're saving you want to make sure you uncheck this background area and just make sure to save it with the overlay if you want it you can have two separate ones it doesn't matter you can save this one and then save this one name it with overlay we'll save make sure you keep it as a PNG the auto flatten and then just Control Z or press here. I'm going to save it with the overlay. Make sure it's a PNG with overlay. So we're done with that for now. So we just have this. And then want to bring out demo hook. I already have it. So once you open this up. Oh shoot. Oh wait, you need both of them, right? I bet. Back both. And then this just takes all the inputs and puts it as a code. So for Hayato, I'm going to have to have this up because I don't play this class too much. I only use it for bossing meal. So, okay. Uh, make sure to open up this as well open it as a notepad and all these settings I've worked out already which will work with the overlay the only thing we need to change is at the bottom here oh you, you could also change it depending on like how many keys you want so you change it here but in this case we have 16 I believe if I can math right yeah 16 and then you wouldn't change this you you would change this if you want to have uh, depending on how many columns and rows you want. Uh, you don't really need to mess with any of this. I already worked that one out. The only thing we really need to change is here, which is what detects the keys that puts it in for us. So, so we have to start off with Shinsoku. So go onto this and then press whatever key it is. Uh, this 0xee47 is my home key for me, but you want to make sure you press that. This is kind of a tedious process. You can probably write it on paper, so it's just way easier for you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll probably let me pull out the pen and paper.
All right, once you have all of that done, you can just close this as well. You won't need that anymore. As, well, as long as you drew it all on paper. So then you just fill these in with whatever keys that you needed. Oh, make sure you make it, uh, it's cap or case sensitive. Alright, and then those keys are good. Oh, you'd also have to change it here as well if you did want to move it around. So, it explains it pretty well here, I would say, but you just keep it as one, and then for this part, it'd just be based on positioning. So, zero is the first row, second is one, and it starts off at zero. So, uh, after you're done with that, you just hit save. So make sure that you put the first one as your image and then the second one will be the file or the text file. Then you can just adjust that wherever you want. So you I mean test if it works. Make sure everything's working. So that skill, that skill, that skill. Hopefully I don't DC here. Oh, it's... <laughs> That's going on cooldown? Or does it need energy? Well, it should work regardless. And then that skill. Yeah. And basically if you have any weird skills that you use on both sides of your keyboards for example uh if you did use ride blade on control or instant slice like i on my thunderbreaker i have shark torpedo here and sometimes i press it with my right hand it won't show up on the screen but if i press it here on c or if you want to do it on control as well <laughs> i guess that'd be like an extra one you have to make so You'd go back into paint, open with overlay, and then you change it. So you just keep everything, you just remove everything except for the skills that you press on the other side of your keyboard, and then you could just make make a copy of this and then just change whatever key section that was into the right one and then it should work but you just have two overlaying ones so for example of my tvs i don't know if I, I do switch over to that it won't have it but so for example right here i have tb right arrow keys i bring over thunderbreaker and then overlay right arrow keys so these are the same you just keep it on the same one so if i press control here it's on both sides well i guess i can't really show that too well but or oh, i guess it works basically but that's basically how you do it 